I think of these biochemical pathways as like, there's all this traffic within the cell. Things are going over here and going over there. And I've got pulled up just kind of one example here uh, with the fatty acids, just to kind of demonstrate how the logic of this works, where we, in our body, we use fats that we eat from our diet. Um, and we use those ultimately to make energy, but it takes a lot of steps along the way. And one of the first steps is that hopefully it'll all come down into this process called beta oxidation. But to do so, it actually requires nutrients in the form of particularly vitamin B2 and magnesium. That is what helps that process. But if the body doesn't have enough of those two things on hand, then what you see is this gets blocked like a traffic jam. And then there's this offshoot to where these things will then turn into other things that we're then measuring, like adipic acid and in your case, suberic acid. So seeing that suberic acid elevate gives us an indication of perhaps a little bit of a traffic jam owing to maybe a need for magnesium or vitamin b2 and it's kind of like that on steroids we are doing that kind of throughout the entire biochemical processes we're looking for every traffic highway that requires magnesium or b6 or b12 or any of these and we're adding it all together and saying wow okay these highways are backed up this is probably telling me that there might be more need for more support in those nutrients and it's also yeah. possible to have these needs with a normal lab core blood draw that you've gotten because we're looking at the biochemistry in your cells 